Right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new on that team. All right, here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the gentleman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Uh, we are back in the tri-state area tonight. Dateline, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The U.S. What a nasty flying knee. strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Oh, big left. Oh. Boom. Big jab. Uppercut. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Slips the punch. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. Nice kick, yep. Oh, 
Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, nice jab. Oh, straight punch. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, nice. Oh, nice left hand there. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice counter shot there. Beautiful body kick. Just over two minutes, round one. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, perfect head kick there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just... Oh! MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, nice. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Under a minute to go. Nice head kick. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging. Another one! Back to the feet! Nice counter left there. Fifteen seconds. Nice straight punch there. Just before you heard the horn, and of course he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. I like to see. You fell back to your training. Kept your hands up. You stayed the All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. That's nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, he just hurt. Back to his feet. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job. Oh! Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp strike.
striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh! Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. Oh! Well, if body language is it. Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.